you want to enhance your jury proficiency in Street Fighter 6, an effective method is to learn combo. Mastering combos is crucial in fighting games because you can punish your opponent's error with devastating damage. Now, you could invest your time in mastering a combo like this. But I think learning less flashier combos that help improve your mastery over jury will be a bit better. What's going on jury fanatic? My name is Narakami and I'm a competitive player with over 5 plus years of experience playing Street Fighter. In this video, I will teach you 5 combos you should know as a jury player. So with that being said, let's hop up the sideline and get right to it. But before I get into the video, I want to start the video off with the question of the day. Which version of Jury's toolkit do you like the best? Is it Street Fighter 4, Street Fighter 5, or Street Fighter 6? Let me know down below in the comments. Street Fighter 6. The first convert that we're going to be learning is a light convert. Street Fighter 6 is a game of ebbs and flows. Sometimes you find yourself on the offensive end, and other times you find yourself on the defensive end. End. Now, one of the more common tactics on the defensive end to prevent your opponent from heavily pressuring you is to mash a fast norm, which is typically a light. So for this reason, in order to maximize your defensive potential, you're going to need a light convert. The specific convert that we're going to be learning is the follow crouching light punch, standing light punch, standing light kick canceled into the light punch version of Jury's Dragon Punch. this convert, not only do you score some decent damage off an overzealous opponent, you also get a knockdown in which you can drive rush after and do a number of different media options such as overhead, standing media punch, and throw which has to slightly beat time. The second combo that we're going to be learning is a medium convert. Now the specific medium that we're going to be focusing on is jury standing medium punch because it's arguably one of the best mediums in the game due to the fact it is advantageous on block at plus two. Since it's advantageous on block this is going to be the primary button they use to pressure your opponent up close and so because of that you're going to need a convert for this norm. The specific convert that we're going to be learning is as follows. Standing medium punch into crouching medium punch cancelled into her medium store. <laughs> this convert, not only do you gain a resource in jury store, you're able to get a meaty situation by simply dashing forward. From the dashboard, you can either go for the standing medium punch meaty, and if you score the hit, you can repeat the combo again for loopable stand medium punch meaty pressure, or you can simply go for the meaty throw. Moving on to the third combo that we're going to be learning, and that's another medium convert. Now for this medium convert, we're going to be focusing on jury's crouching medium kick because it has some of the best range in the game in terms of crouching medium kick. It's one of the tools that you're going to be poking with a lot in neutral. Now from this normal, you could keep it simple by going for a crouching medium kick canceled into jury's store, but we're going to go with the following combo that will allow you to maximize your crouching medium kick even further on hit. The combo is as follows. Crouching medium kick, drive rush cancel into crouching heavy punch, standing medium punch, crouching medium punch into jury's medium store. <laughs> If you notice one thing about this combo, the ending is the same as the previous combo before. And so because the ending is the same, you can simply just go for the exact same medium situation by simply dashing forward and doing either standing medium punch or throw. The fourth combo that we're going to be learning is a punishing combo. In Street Fighter 6, a situation that will happen a lot of times whenever you're pressuring your opponent on wake up is for them to wake up with an invincible move. If you read that your opponent is going to wake up with an invincible move, you're going to want a combo that will make them think twice about 
about mashing that invincible move, especially whenever their health is getting low. And so with that, the specific combo that we're going to be learning is as follows. Standing heavy punch, drive rush cancel, crouching heavy punch, standing medium punch, crouching medium punch, cancel again into drive rush, into crouching heavy punch, standing medium punch, crouching medium punch, into medium kick store, canceled until you're level three super. With this combo, you have that hard hitting combo that you need to punish your opponent whenever they make that costly mistake. The fifth and final combo that we're going to be learning is a Feng Shui engine combo. Now, the specific reason that I chose this combo for this final slot of the video is because I believe in order for you to effectively maximize this character, you have to learn how to use the super. Now, if you don't know how the super works, I covered it in depth in my previous jury video, which I will link in the time card above and in the video description below. But to give you a brief synopsis, of the super Feng Shui engine is an install super that allows Drew to cancel any normal into any normal or any normal into any special. So now that you have a basic understanding of the super, the combo that I will be teaching you guys is a mid screen to corner combo. The combo is as follows. Crouching medium punch canceled into a level 2 super and you hold for the hit. You then go into standing medium kick, forward medium punch, back heavy kick, crouching heavy punch, jump cancel into light punch, medium punch, medium kick canceled into her dive kick. If you're struggling to get into this combo, you can use the previous three combos as the starters. And then once you get to the crouching medium punch of the combos, you can do this instead of finishing the combo out as normal. Now from this combo, not only do you carry your opponent to the combo, you gain access to a safe jump setup by doing jumping forward into heavy kick. Off the safe jump, you have a number of different options based on what the opponent does. If the opponent chooses to wake up reversal, you have enough time to block the wake up and punish the reversal and loop right back into the setup. If the opponent chooses to block the setup, you're gonna pressure the opponent with feng shui engine pressure the jump in heavy kick will be advantageous on block lastly if the opponent does anything else like jump back or back dash the jump in heavy kick will hit and you can combo off of it and loop right again into setup so those are the five jury combos that you should know each one of these combos are for you to maximize different game situations with the character to be sure to practice them and add them to your game in order to level up now speaking of level up if you want to improve even further i have a video about the five things you need to know in order to improve in street fighter 6 it's going to appear on the screen so go ahead and click on it because you just might learn something new